Hello, all you lovely human beings. Today I'm gonna to be doing just a straight open cut with fiery colors. So I've got red, orange, yellow, and then one silver so that I can add some cool colors to contrast with the rest. And my base coat is gonna be silver, so I'm just gonna put a small ring of silver this is big enough to place the cup on. All right. It's been a very long time since I've done a video where I actually talk to you guys. And, you know, I've missed interacting with the community in this way. I haven't really been able to live stream as much as I would like to. But all that is definitely coming up in the future. So my question for you in this video is, how are y'all doing today? How is everybody doing? And it's okay to not be doing well. I hope everybody's doing well. I am managing. And things, things are decent. Things are pretty good. But I really did miss doing these videos where I kind of talk along. You know what I mean? So, I do have a German market coming up pretty soon. So I've been struggling trying to create enough inventory because it's supposed to be a pretty busy affair. I've never attended, I've never been in it, but they estimate about 6,000 people per day will be there, which is super exciting for me. I don't think I've ever been at an event of that size before. So I'm very excited. <clears throat> and I have been listening to the comments, I know. I use too much paint, guys. <laughs> I know. I use so much paint that I could probably do two or three additional paintings, so... I'm gonna try to fix that in this one. Right now, I probably have enough if I really spin the heck out of this canvas to coat the entire thing. So I'm gonna see. But I really love the way that the cells kind of explode off my canvas. So I typically try not to change my method, but I am using a considerably amount less of paint. Try to spread it just a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna get to the spin. If any of you are curious why these cells are opening up as, as good as they are, I will link a video in the card up top for how I mix my paints. It's a fairly simple uh, recipe of Floetrol and silicone and just paint. Because a lot of people have been interested on how I make the cells explode the way I do. And I definitely want to be able to answer those questions. So I just stretched the paint as, as wide as I could, getting all the coverage on the edges. Now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of heat to it and activate that silicone that's underneath. So it'll push through the top layer of the paint, creating those crazy multicolored cells that you all love. Only thing you want to be wary of when you're applying heat to the canvas in this manner is you don't want to leave it on any one surface for too long because then you're going to risk drying the paint and that'll cause a lot of crazing and cracking issues later on. It feels really, really good to be able to talk to you guys and interact though. So I see live streams coming soon in the future, mm -hmm. as opposed to later. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close-up and we will take a look at these crazy multicolored cells right now. Head on the silicone. Pushing through all those different layers of paint 
create those really intense, brilliant little cells with the lacing. These open cups are quickly becoming one of my favorite cups of pours. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.